Well, obviously, James Bald, that contact was from an earlier incident because he is not involved here. As you see, the one car making contact up into the Robert Bam machine he goes. Christian James makes his contact right there. Steve Marsh gets a piece of it right there, slams the outside wall. James does as well. Now let's see how Cody Poe got so mangled. There's contact right there with Arnold Columbia, but let's see if... Oh, look at Barry Zuckercorn compiling in right into the back of Arnold Columbia. And, oh, Chad Skinner into the back of Cody Poe, into the side of him, actually. And that's what causes the 10 car to have so much damage. And actually, he is trailing black smoke as we speak. And that's why we're under the caution. Look at Barry Zuckercorn stuck up there on that high line up against the outside safer Barry. He couldn't get his car refired. Now let's see what happened to Steve Marsh and Joseph Bryant. Well, Joseph Bryant gets turned after they cross the stripe, getting the caution flag by Vincent Marsh. A little aggressive there by Vincent. Not certain what he was thinking, but nonetheless, Joseph Bryant getting turned. He has some damage already, and then here he comes. He's trying to save it. Yay, I've saved it, but oh, Steve Marsh right into the back of him. And Marsh, that, that ended his day right there. Marsh, just nothing he could do, but Joseph Bryant, man, oh man, oh man, oh man. A good day all of a sudden goes south for the yellow transportation Chevy. And Steve Marsh actually had made it through quite a few wrecks and was running pretty well, poised for a good finish, and he's involved here as well. Well, the casualty list continues to pile up as we have only 22 race cars still on the racetrack. 19 of them are on the lead lap. Here are the cars that are out of the race. Robert Ban, R. Columbia, Joseph Bryant, Steve Marsh, Cody Poe, Christian James, and Barry Zuckercorn. They have all retired from the race. Alex Filter is the leader. Second is Sean Galligan. Third is Matthew Rodriguez. Fourth position we find Wyatt Johnston. Fifth is Daniel Schwab. Adam Rose is up to sixth. Still in seventh. There's James Bald. Angel D'Souza in ninth or in eighth. Noel Stiller. We know he has some damage, but you can see the buckle there on the Dupont logo on the hood of his race car. Also re-ran damage, but he's still in ninth. And Brittany Poe runs in tenth. Adam Chambers. He is eleventh. Vincent Marsh. He's twelfth. 13th position is John Worry, 14th is Noah Cars, and 15th is Anthony Nodder. Heading back up to the front, still out in front, is Alex Filter. Galligan did challenge him, but he does not challenge him this time. Green flag is out. Galligan did not get that good a restart that time. And Matthew Rodriguez is all over the back of him. And now Matthew Rodriguez kind of gets shuffled up to the high side there. Way up high, actually. If I were the 25 car, I'd be very worried right now because he, oh, he was able to get back in line. Okay. But that was a little close for him. Alex Filter, though, again being hounded by Sean Galligan. You know, if Galligan could not win the championship, the last thing, or the, the thing he would want to do after that would be able to take the win here at Homestead. He is a driver in the championship contention that has not won a race. He's had consistent enough finishes that he was able to make the chase, and... He is yet to find victory lane that 99, and now the caution waves yet again. This time's going to be for Anthony McCurry. Andrew Gonzalez gets a piece of it. Also, Vincent Marsh. Looks like Noah Cars has got some damage as well to his paralyzed Veterans of America Dodge, but there's Andrew Gonzalez. You can see the DeWalt tools for it all buckled up, and front and rear end damage to the lap car of Anthony McCurry. He's running in 20th right now, even though he's a lap down, but let's see why he was uh, facing the wrong way here bringing out the caution for the, I believe this is the fifth time today. Well, here we go. Maybe it's going to be the Adam Chambers machine that starts this wreck. So you get into the back of the 36 right here. Vincent Marsh. No, Marsh doesn't start it. Yeah, Marsh does. St oh, no, Andrew Gonzalez starts it. Down and into the left car of Anthony McCurry. I don't know if he knew if McCurry was... Still there or not, but Vincent Marsh and he make some contact up on that ins uh, outside wall. And apparently Noah Carr's damage was from an earlier incident, but it looks like it's three cars. Andrew Gonzalez, Vincent Marsh, and Anthony McCurry that put us under the caution flag here today at Homestead. So we'll get ready to go back under the green flag yet again. Cautions are Alex Filter's best friend, because every time it seems that Sean Galligan is ready to mount a charge onto the 84, the yellow lights go on and the caution flag waves so 
right now, Filter just very, very happy that he's got these caution flags going on. The one thing he's probably not happy about, though, now is the fact that he will not have any lap cars to his inside to be able to help him get away from Sean Galligan because we have 31 of 41 laps completed. We will be getting the green flag with 10 laps to go. Therefore, no lap cars. Championship contenders, where are they running? Well, we got Sean Galligan in second, Matthew Rodriguez, our points leader, trying to, to win this championship. Right now, he has it if he continues to run where he is. That's in third. And James Bald slipped back one spot during that restart. He will restart this time in the eighth position, but still a good run for the 38 car. So no lap cars for Filter. Can he get a good enough restart here? Green flag is out. Nope, Galligan hangs with him. The one that did not get a good restart was Matthew Rodriguez. Oh, and there goes Angel Souza down into the wall. But I don't think the caution's out for that race car. No, it is not, as Galligan has the inside advantage. And this time, he's going to make it work. Galligan to the lead here at Homestead. Meanwhile, there's Wyatt Johnston. He's all over the back bumper of Matthew Rodriguez. Adam Rose challenging him down there as well. Matthew Rodriguez getting caught up way on the high side there. That's not going to be good for Matthew Rodriguez. He'll want to get back in line there. Here comes Daniel Schwab to the inside. He'll bypass the 25. 25 car way up the racetrack. He'll want to get back down to that inside line now. Here comes James Bald. Trying to get a spot from him. We're actually getting a nice little green flag run here. There's Matthew Rodriguez right behind the Adam Rose machine and Daniel Schwab. But he slides once again way up high. And that's allowing James Bald to close in there for that sixth position. Oh boy, this is going to be very interesting. We've got a little bit more to go here, about six, no, make that seven laps. And now Matthew Rodriguez is going to get in line. But James Bald is trying to close in. Meanwhile, it's Sean Galligan all by himself. He's got quite a ways before you get to the lapped car of Mark George. Galligan, Filter, Wyatt Johnston, Adam Rose, Daniel Schwab. That's the top five. Then you got the Matthew Rodriguez there. He's in sixth. James Bald is up to seventh. Matthew Rodriguez right now, the thing he's got to do is make sure that James Ball doesn't get by him. And if he does, he's got to make sure he does not lose at least seven spots. Then he would have the championship. Alex Felter has yet to mount a charge on Galligan, though. Galligan has taken the lead and run away with it. He is out in front by about four car lengths over the Alex Felter machine. Going back to that battle between James Bald and Matthew Rodriguez. That's kind of settled down now. See if we can find a good battle on the racetrack. Not finding one yet as everything seems to be pretty, yeah, pretty single file for the most part here. And it is all Sean Galligan out in front. I believe Galligan would end up, uh, yeah, Galligan, even with this win, would still be third in the standings for the finishing of this season. Because in order to be second, he would have to be a total of 14 positions ahead of James Bald, and Bald is running there in that seventh position. So he will have made up seven points on Bald, but he would not be able to take second in the standings. But right now, as the laps are winding down, Matthew Rodriguez continues to run right where he is in sixth. That would give him the championship here today, provided he can stay out of trouble for a mere four more laps. Now, if the caution came out, I don't know if we would end up uh, finishing this race under caution or if we would be able to get another green flag run in. And uh, also, I was just wondering where Angel D'Souza is running. There she is. She's 17th. I saw her car get way out of shape. But she's actually, I could hear that race car as it passes by is not really running up to full speed. That car is pretty badly damaged. There's... Matthew Rodriguez all by himself. James Bald has not been able to close in on the 25 car at all. He's still running in 7th. And here's a pretty good battle. Wyatt Johnston closing in on the, Adam, on the Alex Filter machine. But Filter is closing in on Sean Galligan again. Now Galligan, he would either have to do one of two things. One, he would have to hold off completely defensively the Alex Filter machine, or he'd have to hope for a caution flag to come out so he could win this race under caution, but I don't know which one he'd want to have happen, because right now he wants to win the championship, and 
Matthew Rodriguez running in sixth is not going to allow that to happen. Got three more laps to go. Can Galligan hold filter off for three more laps? He was enjoying a nice little four car length lead, and now filters closed it up to being right on his back bumper. Wyatt Johnston there. How about the Red Bull cars? Good run for Red Bull Racing here today. We got Filter there in second, Adam Rose in fourth. Good run today for those Toyotas. Doing a great job right here at Homestead. And Daniel Schwab running there in fifth. He'll be contending for the uh, Snickers Cup Series Championship when we get to the Snickers Cup Series race here at Homestead. He is tied for the points lead with, da with Dougie Shears. And uh, Schwab is running in fifth right now, getting some good experience for the Snickers Cup Series race. Adam Rose was thinking about the third position there for a moment from Wyatt Johnston. White flag is in the air for Sean Galligan. He will not win the championship, I do not believe, but he will go out of this season on a high note if he can hold off Alex Filter and pick up the win. It would be the first win of the season for Sean Galligan. 20 races, he's in, battling for the championship, no wins, that's going to change today, however, he will not be the champion, but nonetheless, Sean Galligan is going to take it out of turn four for the final time, he exits the season one Mobile One Cup Series in style, he wins, and Matthew Rodriguez is your Mobile One Cup Series champion. So Galligan goes to victory lane, Matthew Rodriguez claims the championship, and a good run for all three championship contenders. James Ball finishes in seventh. But it is Matthew Rodriguez who wins this race. And we end up finishing this race. Well, we don't finish it under caution. But the caution flag does wave. I'm not certain who for, though. I don't see any race car that is spun out. How about Alex Filter? A good run in the second position. Third to Wyatt Johnston. Fourth to Adam Rosen. Daniel Schwab in fifth. But there's the man of the hour right there. Matthew Rodriguez is your champion for season one. And what a job he did this whole season. And a lot of these drivers just did a terrific job here today. These three chase contenders to stay in this race. And they all come away with top seven finishes. Let's see why we're under the caution flag. As Matthew Rodriguez is your champion. And Sean Galligan picks up his first win of the season here at Homestead. Well, here's why the caution came out. This was on the very last lap. And pretty much the cars were coming down to the checkered flag. It wouldn't have made any difference anyway. But this was, I believe, for position. Noah Cars trying to hold off Andrew Gonzalez. Gonzalez is actually down on the apron here. Gets to the inside of Noah Cars and just slides up the racetrack. Turns the 49 car around. And uh, the 49 goes into a spin. Tags the outside retaining wall. Turns the car around, keeps it going, but uh, apparently that was enough to bring out, well, he actually goes up and hits the outside wall once again right there, but that was enough to put us underneath the caution flag, but the race does not end under caution because I believe Sean Galligan, let's see, the caution lights are on, was Galligan past the line? Yeah, he already had passed the line for the win, I believe. And so the race ends actually under green, even though the caution lights came on after they crossed the stripe. So Sean Galligan picks up win number one in the final race here of Season 1 Mobile and Cup Series. He goes out in style, even though he does not win the championship. Alex Filter, great run in second. Wyatt Johnston third, and then another Red Bull car there. Red Bull finishing two and four. Adam Rose there in fourth. Daniel Schwab in fifth. Matthew Rodriguez, our Mobile and Cup Series champion, finishes in sixth. James Bald in seventh. He will finish second in the standings. Anthony Nodder in eighth. How about Noel Stiller? Good run for him in ninth. And Philip Stiller finishes in the tenth position. Lisa Shears in twelfth. Jake Bergen, or uh, Lisa Shears in eleventh, rather. Jake Bergen twelfth. Brittany Poe thirteenth. Adam Chambers fourteenth. And John Murray fifteenth. Vincent Marsh finishes in sixteenth. Angel D'Souza, after getting turned there on that restart, ends up finishing in seventeenth. Chad Skinner in eighteenth. And Noah Carr is in nineteenth position. Last car on the lead lap. Then Anthony McCurry finishes one lap down in 20th. Andrew Gonzalez, 21st. Mark George in 22nd. Then the rest of these cars were out of the race. Robert Band, Arnold Columbia, Joseph Bryant, Steve Marsh, Cody Poe, Christian Janes, 
Then uh, Barry Zuckercorn, Perry, uh, Patrick Scroggins, Martin Zakal, Logan Wilson, Evan Nugent, Alex Band, Cody Hoffman, Timmy Pacioli, Pale Gonzalez, Nick Eggleston, Kenny McCurry, Alyssa Quackenbush, Dougie Shears, and Jake Cole. So, some drivers glad to have this season over because they were not doing so well. Some drivers kind of sorry to see it end, but Season 2 will be coming very shortly. But first, we're going to find out who the Snickers Cup Series champion is going to be as Dougie Shears and Daniel Schwab come in tied for the points lead. Jordan Hester sits seven points back. Who's going to win the championship for that series? I have no idea, but we are going to be finding out very soon. Congratulations to Matthew Rodriguez. He is the Mobile One Cup Series champion for Season 1. Sean Galligan, the winner here at Homestead. And we will see you guys soon for Season 2. Hope you've enjoyed this season. We'll see you soon. You've been watching a production of the NNSCRA now merged with the NCG MRS. Always our song and every city is like the same three chords been helping us along.